Hey, this is Kevin from JJ Hat Center. This is the oldest, the largest, most authentic, the most amazing hat shop in New York. Uh, we're here in this neighborhood since 1911. It's over a long time, it's over 100 years. I'm personally working here almost 25 years. It's 24 and a half, 24 and change. And um, yeah, it's safe to say I know my hats. You know, I know a thing or two about uh, you know this little corner of the, the hat world. I don't know everything. Um, in New York, the Western hat business is a small part of our business. Um, dress hats, fedoras, derbies, pork pies, large brim dress hats, trendy custom hats, um, boaters, caps, newsboys, all sorts of classic hats, that's what we sell. Western hats is one section. It's like, uh, you know, maybe, okay, you see this case in here, like from there to there, two of those, like maybe there to there to there. Those two cases will be Westerns, maybe one of those sections. And then we have like six or seven other cases like that with dress hats. So we're predominantly not Western. I don't know everything about them, but I'm going to show you the best-selling westerns in this shop, and since I've been working here, um, what's really, really hot right now in 2019, what's trendy. If you're thinking about getting a hat, you want to go full-out western, or you want to go semi-western, like what they call a crossover hat, like the open road. The open road is the trendiest, most popular. It's like a phenomenon right now. Everybody's asking for it. Um, I don't think Stetson can make enough open roads to keep the people busy. What happened is they just came out with a new version that's selling like crazy, and now they're selling like twice as much. I can't keep them in stock. So without further ado, let's stop procrastination, the introductions, and this and that. Let's get to the top five best-selling Western hats at JJ Hat Center for 2019. All right, let's start from the last one, number five. We're going to work our way up to number one. All right. Number five, I'm going to say, is the brand new Open Road Straw. Okay, the Open Road has been one of the most trendiest, popular hats of the year for about three years now. If you're looking at a graph, it's kind of like shot up. Right now, it's, it's incredibly, uh, it's hit mainstream. Uh, the Open Road is a hat that's not as big as a Western. It's a small fedora brim that you can snap. But uh, it's always traditionally come in felt only. And everybody loves the felt open road because it's a small little western top. It's low and it's not a big where's your horse hat. It's just something small you could wear and it looks cool. A little bit rock and roll, a little bit not rock and roll. It can look very conservative. It can look country. It can look rootsy. Wherever you want it to look, it's, it's a real mellow hat. It's a versatile hat. It's strong as nails. Um, and they sell like crazy. So the newest thing to come out now, they finally came out with an open road straw. Now just look at the straw, look at the detail. It's got a two-tone thing happening. There are two different, two different straws there, if you notice. There's a, a beige and a kind of an off-white, like an ivory color. And they're kind of intertwined. And then you've got this basket weaving behind. See that open work, lattice work. So it's a very strong hat. Um, expect a stiff hat. It's a working hat. Remember, these are westerns. They're meant for your horse to, you know, ride it. They start off like this. They do soften up. Trust me. Um, anybody who's had straw westerns for years, 10 years, 15 years, whatever, they know what they're like at the end of their life. They're very soft and floppy and stuff. You can stiffen them when they get too soft. But it's nice to have some stiffness at first because they're going to all soften up. So anyway, the straw open road, um, it's a Toyo straw, comes in three colors, it's amazing. They're actually three different models. They're not exactly the same open road. There's the open road C, the cognac. It has uh, you know, this one row of lattice work and stuff. There's this natural called uh, the open road two, which has this two-tone kind of color, coloration, and also two rows of lattice work with little flowers in between them as far as the, the pattern, you see? Two rows, one row, two rows, okay? Then there's a third open row straw. It's actually a third model. 
These are not colors of the same hat. There's an open row uh, C and an open row 2. And then this chocolate one is actually $15 more. The open road R or B. The open road R in brown is the name of the color. I don't know. What, what is this? Chestnut? Okay. This one has kind of a single open work here. Chocolate brown, open road. Gorgeous hats. Open road. Okay, that's going to be our number five. Let's put that back. Let's count that down. Now, um, just getting off that topic. If you like that kind of look with the open work, there's also a full out size western in the cognac and the chocolate and stuff. Um, the long shot. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous hat. This is a full out you know, western style hat. And, you know, if it looks too big for you, you can do stuff like, you know, you could shape it and stuff, you know. But the long shot is a full western. It's not small. It's not a crossover. It's a big brown. I don't know what this is. It looks like a four inch or something. Yeah. Let me feel like putting my glasses on. It's like a four inch thing. Yeah. All right. So, let's get back. After that open road, what else do we have? I'm going to say... The Gambler is very hot. I don't know why we've carried this hat for at least 20 years. Stetson Royal Flush, various other gamblers. Um, I've personally sold this to uh, Dickie Betts from the Allman Brothers, um, Frank Hannon from Tesla, a whole bunch of rock stars, um, different movie stars. We've done this for various movies. This is fur felt. It's made out of beaver and rabbit, mostly rabbit, I'd say. Um, the open road is great, but this is one well, of my favorite. This is called The Gambler. The Gambler is something like Clint Eastwood might wear. Now, it is a Western hat. Uh, if you take away this Western band, you put like a ribbon band. It's more of a Southern gambler or a Mississippi gambler. Um, a little different. Usually a Mississippi gambler might have binding on the brim and a ribbon band. That would be something closer to this. A different type of a gambler. Closer to like a Colonel Sanders or a uh, Gone with the Wind, a Franklin Scarlet kind of a hat. This is more of a Wild Wild West. The Wild Wild West hat. Uh, even the remake, the Will Smith black one was this hat. Uh, I believe Stetson or was it Biltmore or Stetson? It could have been Scala. One of these companies came out with this hat in black and they called it the Wild. It had like a Will Smith lining or something. You know, like people want Will Smith linings. But anyway, the, uh, it's also a lot of famous hats. The Gambler, um, Wild Wild, Clint Eastwood. You know, a lot of spaghetti westerns, he wore those flat westerns. That's what Clint was known for. They look great when they get worn in. You put all kinds of cool concho bands or horse hair or spikes or rattlesnake heads and things on there. And they just get all a little bit sombrero and a little bit western. That's just super cool. And if you want to go full out, you know, spaghetti western, you can get, you know, kind of, this is called the palm bolero. It's kind of like a serious, serious sombrero type of western. It's uh, flat. That's incredible inexpensive some of the only things you could get wet too as far as palm as far as a straw is palm let's get back on the subject okay after the gambler what's going to be another really big seller here i'll tell you what the gun club the gun club is this it's like you know when you picture the guy wearing the duster you know, those guys with those flaps on their shoulders, those duster dudes, they're real tall and dusty looking with the guns. You know, those Marshall dudes. They wear these kind of flat downturn hats. This is a duster. It's somewhat of an Australian style or an Outback style, but uh, it's called the Gun Club. It's just a no-nonsense Marshall sheriff kind of thing. You know, um, it's a duster thing. Big brown, dirty old duster. Got to get that coat, uh, that oil skin thing, whatever it is. And, Lots of guns under it and stuff, and you just kind of walk into town, you know, and you got like sweat stains here. It's covered in like, you know, rain. These look great when they get beat up. The, the older they are, the better. Um, they age really well. It's somewhere in between a crocodile dundee, a river runs through it, Indiana Jones, and 
Jurassic Park. It's definitely an adventurer thing, like a Jurassic Park type of thing. So if you're an adventurer, you want something really tough, tough as nails, the Gun Club. It also comes in black and silver belly, which is like this whitish gray color. All right, Gun Club. Next, we got two more, okay? Next, I have to give props to the Stetson Rancher. The Rancher is the biggest of all the hats we carry. All right, this is a couple sizes too big. It looks ridiculous. Let me try one on this side. Hold on. Let's try a good size left in the Rancher. Maybe not. Size is a black one. Yeah, all right. The Rancher. The Rancher is a typical country music hat. It's uh, what Roy Rogers wore, wore the, the James Dean wore this, uh, Roy Rogers, the Marlboro Man actually wore a Resistol, but it looked exactly like this, like a Rancher. It's the Texas Oil Tycoon. Uh, the guy who owns the Ranchers is the guy with the money. He's got a higher hat, it's prestige, you know. The Rancher is like, uh, it's for people with Ranchers, it's the real deal. You want uh, a gift for somebody from Mexico? Guys in Mexico love the rancher. It's somewhat part of the culture. Um, people who love Western wear from Mexico usually don't want to mess around. They want this. This is the hat they want. Uh, rancher is somewhat of a status symbol for you know, like uh, guys out there in Texas and uh, you know Mexico. Anybody in that area, um, you know El Paso, Laredo, those places. You know, it's super, super part of the culture, and um, the rancher is the only hat they want. You know, it's definitely really common, popular, and everybody asks for it. So here it is. Built like nails. That's the original classic cowboy hat. So that leaves us with one more. There's only one more to go. And that is the... Uh, let's put this rancher back. It's got to be the open road. Okay, the open road is by far by far the best seller this year. Um, it barely classifies as a Western, but it's as uh, Western as it can be. You see a lot of older men down South wearing these as dress hats. They have them for, for years, you know. Um, you can crack the brim just like a fedora. It is a fedora brim. It's a, a snap brim, but it's just a thicker version of it. You could bring it down and back too if you want. Few people do. You could even have it shaped with yeah, I had a very, very short guy. I think he was from Peru the other day he came in. And he wanted a rancher, but the rancher was way too tall for him. So he took an open road and turned it into a mini rancher, which was so cool. Um, so it's low, it's short in the brim, it's easy to wear. It's super popular and flying off the shelves. And they probably don't have your size unless you're watching this video at a later date. Um, this hat is in stock all the time, and we never seem to have enough. Um, we sell them all year long, summer, winter, fall, anytime, and we can't keep them in stock. They're just always wanted, and they're always moving. They come in silver belly, this color. They come in black, and there's a new color called fawn, which came out a couple of years ago. The fawn is not as uh, light as silver belly. Here's silver belly. Here's fawn. Um, it's more of a beige, I guess. This is a very light, light gray, almost white. This is kind of a, you know, a couple of shades. Silver belly open road. Fawn open road. It's definitely not brown. It's like a beige or a grayish, dusty beige. This is a lighter, light, light gray. Kind of like the good guys and the bad guys. This is the good guys. This is sort of a medium, not quite as light, you know? So the open road, that's it. Um, the older ones are amazing. They're hard to find. The newer ones are made out of rabbit. And um, they are very thick. They can take rain. Um, probably not as much rain as a Stetson Rancher. A rancher, you could be out there for hours and hours in the snow and rain. Uh, an open road, you might get some distortions for hours and hours, but uh, for the most part, I'm going to say they're rainproof, but yes, they still can lose their shape. If you're looking for absolutely bulletproof, um, that would be the rancher, yeah. 
That's a hat that has never gotten thinner, it's never changed, it's always been super thick, in my opinion, and uh, it's just, uh, will perform like crazy. Um, and that's about it. So hey, time to go home, it's Sunday, my family is waiting for me. You guys have a great, great night.